Earlier, I have already analyzed interactions between lions and crocodiles. Tigers are generally considered to be more efficient fighters than lions when it comes to dealing with crocodiles. Probably, many subscribers wanted to know how the interactions of tigers with crocodiles actually differ from the interaction of lions with crocodiles. As in my last video about interactions of lions with crocodiles, I analyzed interactions of tigers with crocodiles, based on observations collected mainly from scientific literature and other more or less reliable sources. I divided the interaction between tigers and crocodiles into four main types. Crocodiles attack tigers. Kleptoparasitism of crocodiles in relation to tigers. Tigers attack crocodiles. And kleptoparasitism of tigers in relation to crocodiles. Observations of tigers and crocodiles competing as scavengers were not found during the search of accounts. Interactions without motivation and physical contact were not included in the analysis. Captive observations such as videos of staged combat were included in the analysis in order to somehow increase the number of analyzed observations. Currently I have collected 49 observations. Compared to the analysis of interactions between lions and crocodiles, the sample turned out to be smaller and less informative. In total, I collected 8 observations of crocodile kleptoparasitism in relation to tigers. Only two species of crocodiles have been observed in taking prey from tigers. One account describes regular occurrences of kleptoparasitism by saltwater crocodile in relation to tigers and sundervans. All other accounts describe observations of kleptoparasitism by mugger crocodiles. Mugger crocodiles made four successful and three unsuccessful attempts to take away prey from tigers, three successful and one unsuccessful attempt to take away prey from tigresses, two unsuccessful attempts to take away prey from male tigers, and one successful attempt to take away prey from a tiger of a known sex. All observations of kleptoparasitism by mugger crocodiles come from the Ranthambore National Park. In all observations in which the size of crocodiles is known, crocodiles were up to 3 meters in length. I found 6 observations of kleptoparasitism of tigers in relation to mugger crocodiles. 5 attempts at kleptoparasitism were made by tigresses 1 unsuccessful, 3 successful and 1 with an unknown result. There is only one known observation of kleptoparasitism by a male tiger, which, on the other hand, has made at least two unsuccessful and one successful attempts. All of these observations come from the Ranthambore National Park. In all cases of kleptoparasitism of tigers in relation to mugger crocodiles, in which it was possible to estimate the size of crocodiles, crocodiles were no more than 3 meters in length. I managed to collect 23 observations of crocodile attacks on tigers. Of the 23 reports of crocodile attacks on tigers, the size of the crocodiles could only be estimated in 5 cases, of which 2 were staged fights and 1 involved a tiger cup. It is impossible to estimate the average, minimum and maximum size of crocodiles involved in successful attacks on tigers. Only 12 accounts can be considered non-anecdotal, and 9 can be considered direct observations from reliable sources. 9 accounts describe attacks of saltwater crocodiles, 11 accounts describe attacks of mugger crocodiles, 2 accounts most likely include attacks of both mentioned species, 1 account describes attacks by gangetic gharials, and 1 account describes an observation where an unidentified crocodilian, most likely a false gharial, and a tiger killed each other in battle. Tigers were killed in 19 cases out of 23. The sex of tigers was indicated or could be determined only in 7 cases. In 2 cases the attacked tigers were females, and in 5 cases males. However, it cannot be said that male tigers are more often attacked by crocodiles than tigresses because of the specific circumstances of many of these observations. 
Many observations come from old and often anecdotal sources that are biased in favor of describing fatal attacks by crocodiles on strong male tigers. This is especially true of sources describing attacks by typically small mugger crocodiles. Mugger crocodiles may have been much larger in the past and were more dangerous to tigers. On the other hand, tigers seem to be very vulnerable to saltwater crocodile predation in Sundarbans. This may be directly related to the fact that in Sundarbans, tigers are often forced to swim in mangrove habitats and are an easy target for crocodiles. For some unknown reason, I could not find almost any old anecdotal observations describing the attacks of tigers on crocodiles. As a result, I managed to collect only 12 observations of tiger attacks on crocodiles, 10 of which are not anecdotal and 9 can be considered direct observations from reliable sources. In 5 cases crocodiles were attacked by tigresses, in other 5 cases by male tigers, and in 2 cases the sex of tigers could not be determined. The size of crocodiles can be estimated in 5 observations and in another 3 observations it can be suggested based on the context. One account described a fatal attack by a tiger on a small adult female gavial. Another account describes a non-fatal attack by a tiger on a small mugger or saltwater crocodile. And the remaining 10 accounts describe a tiger attacks on mugger crocodiles. Crocodiles were killed by tigers in only 7 out of 12 observations. The largest crocodile attacked and killed by tigers has an estimated length of approximately 3 meters 30 centimeters to 3 and half meters long mugger crocodile. He was killed by the Tigress Mackley in the famous 13-hour fight. Despite the fact that this crocodile is often estimated at 14 feet or 4 meters and 30 centimeters in length, this estimate is completely unfounded as it was visually given by Valmik Thapar, who later also revised it to about 12 feet. In Ranthambore National Park, tigers have often been seen surprising basking mugger crocodiles by sneaking upon them, but these attacks are unlikely to have a predatory motivation. There are some unusual observations of fatal interactions between tigers and crocodiles in the sample, which were not observed in much larger sample of interactions between lions and crocodiles. In two cases tigers killed small crocodiles attacking them while crossing a river. And there are one interesting observation of false gharial and a tiger killed each other in battle. However, the general pattern of fatal interactions between crocodiles and tigers is very similar to the pattern of fatal interactions between crocodiles and lions. Both lions and tigers are known to kill crocodiles up to about 3.5 meters long. On the other hand, adult lions and tigers of both sexes are known to be killed by crocodiles over 3.5 meters long. On the first glance, the difference may be that the relative size of the largest crocodile killed by tiger is larger than the relative size of the largest crocodile killed by lion. The tigress Mackley killed an approximately 3 meters 30 centimeters to 3 and half meters long mugger crocodile, which could be one fourth to one third heavier than the tigress. But while it took the tigress 13 hours to kill the crocodile, the pride of lions handled a similar sized crocodile in just 20 minutes. Also, during the battle, Mackley broke two canines, while in indirect observation of a male lion killing a Nile crocodile 3 meters 53 centimeters long, it was not described that the lion received any similar damage. Despite the small sample size, it can be concluded that tigers are much more often than lions are trying to take away prey from crocodiles. This may be due to the fact that tigers are better swimmers than lions and feel more confident in water. But a more important reason is probably the small size of the crocodiles subjected to kleptoparasitism by tigers. Four out of six observations were made by Valmik Thapar at Padam Tala Lake in Ranthambore National Park. During his observations, Valmik Thapar estimated the largest crocodiles in Padam Tala at only 3 meters. A 3 meter long crocodile is smaller and weighs much less than an average adult tiger. 
In some observations, lions also took prey from similarly sized crocodiles. In conclusion, I can say that the interactions of tigers with mugger crocodiles are very similar to interactions of lions with Nile crocodiles. All the differences are due to the fact that nowadays mugger crocodiles are on average smaller than in the past. In Ranthambore National Park, where many modern sightings of tiger-crocodile interactions occur, tigers interact with much smaller crocodiles than lions in most areas, which gives them some advantage. In contrast, in some other places, especially in mangrove habitats, tigers appear to be much more vulnerable when interacting with larger saltwater crocodiles. All reports of saltwater crocodile interactions with tigers have been in favor of crocodiles. In favor of the tiger, there is only one fake account from New Yorker magazine, which was refuted by colleagues of Dr. Samuel, to whom the words from a magazine article are attributed.